Thank you, and uh, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Um, uh, I'm here as um, uh, a representative of the Global Water Partnership. Um, I'm actually not an active uh, staff or member of the Global Water Partnership. I'm a former chair and a current patron of the organization. I'm very, very happy to be here today, and I'm glad that, I, that uh, the current executive secretary asked me if I could um, come and join you because I happen to live in Washington, because I was also a, 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 a member of the board of IMI. So this is uh, extra excitement for me to see, uh, to be here representing GWP, but also to see um, this great step forward for IMI. For those who do not know um, GWP, the Global Water Partnership was actually founded about uh, 22 years ago to foster integrated management of water resources, a process which promotes the coordinated development and management of water, land, and related resources in order to maximize the economic and social welfare in an equitable manner without compromising sustainability or vital ecosystems. The Global Water Partnership's vision is for a water secure world, and its mission is to advance the governance and management of water resources for sustainable and equitable development. It has a network of 3,000 organizations, 15 regional water partnerships around the world, uh, over 60 um, active, what we call country water partnerships, and um, provides a neutral, multi-stakeholder platform for dialogue and decision-making to help make improvements in the management of water resources towards achieving um, water security. It has a toolbox, uh, which probably some of you have heard about, and other knowledge uh, products, as well as capacity project support and, um, and other activities, which it uses to help countries move towards achieving water security for their societies and their people. So all these things that we've been talking about and, and the points that you've, you've, you've all made, and in particular the point that um, Claudia made at the beginning about the SDGs, um, are something that is very close to, um, to, let's say, GWP's heart. But GWP is not in active research, is not developing technology, is not um, pr providing infrastructure. It's trying to work together with the whole range of actors in this, in this arena so that we can move forward to support the countries and communities that we are all serving. So I'm going to take a slightly different tack from everybody else. And uh, Winston wanted us to ask, uh, ask about some critical questions. My critical question, um, and has a part B, is where is the voice? We all know that um, for anything to be successful, good or bad, it has to have leadership. It has to have a strong voice that will bring others along, that will innovate others, that will provide incentives, that will guide, that will keep people together. And I think one of the things that is have, uh, letting us struggle right now, um, looking at the so-called um, off-track uh, SDGs, is that lack of voice whether it's political decision makers who then say, yes, uh, we want to do this, that's fine. They've made that decision, but somebody has to lead. And as long as we don't work to ensure that we have the right leaders, not, I'm not talking politically, but the right leaders to implement the, um, all these um, programs and activities to disseminate, to help disseminate the, the learning that we've got, to help um, bring partners together so that we can actually um, uh, uh, use data together, share data. As long as we don't do that, we're going to make very, very slow progress. We need that voice. Um, I have 24 seconds, so I was going to give an example, maybe later on I could, of a, a couple of examples of, of situations where 
within a multi-stakeholder platform where you've got all the different kinds of stakeholders, and I won't list them all, including other sectors that rely and use water, private sector, etc., where you bring them together and they have the information base and they can actually start to make a change to support the people that they're serving. That's what is important. That's what we, we need to do. Something that we can do together, Global Water Partnership and IMI. Um, you have a flood insurance management program. GWP has uh, the flood management program and help desk and a drought management uh, help desk. I know in the past there was talk about let's pull these resources together. Well, this is an opportunity to, to do that because pulling those resources will then help um, uh, provide that information base to groups of stakeholders to be able to work together. And this is a challenge for all of us. Rather than saying which part of the pie am I going to take, the thing we should be saying is, how can I use what I have to help us all work together, even if we're doing our different parts, to help us all work together to improve the resilience of societies and people. Thank you.